Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Sarah and I make a lot of plus size fashion videos and I also make a lot of different types of videos. I make mom related content, I make cooking and what's for dinner videos and cleaning videos and home decor and beauty and all of that stuff. So if you are interested, I would love it if you stuck around and hit that subscribe button. And if you're also interested and haven't already, follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And uh, yeah, that's enough of that spiel. So today is a plus size fashion video. I have so many things to show you. I have gone crazy on the plus size fashion, fall fashion circuit, guys. I have looked at way too much stuff. I have gotten way too much stuff. I have tried on way too much stuff. But it is my favorite time of year to wear clothes. By the way, I am wearing clothes. We're not doing in this video a la natural, you know. Promise. We are, we are clothed. Um, but Anyway, enough of that. So, um, I'm super excited to share with you all of the fall stuff that I've purchased, and all of this besides one item is from Walmart. So, um, you guys, I asked you what stores you wanted to see and what you were interested in for fall fashion, and so many of you guys, the top two responses I got were Walmart and Amazon, and I feel like I do those consistently, um, and I feel like I just, I'm never showing you new stuff, but those are the ones that you guys want, which I don't mind because those are the ones that I love too. So it's okay, it works out for both of us. So I moved you, I moved you a little bit, uh, just a little bit. Anyway, so we're gonna hop right in. Everything I did purchase, I purchased online. Nine times out of 10, actually pretty much 100% of the time, I purchased all of the clothing that I get at my Walmart hauls online. A lot of times it's cheaper online, I have better access to sizes, all of that stuff I order online. Um, as you guys know, I love Walmart online and the way that I make sure that I don't kind of get cheaped, cheaped, cheapskated, you know what I'm saying, gypped, whatever. <laughs> um, is when I'm going because I've had a number of questions saying that you guys have seen like an overwhelming stuff and you're kind of worried about purchasing because a lot of it seems like really you know like um, a lot of it seems from like Asia and stuff like that and China and stuff and my number one tip for you is to make sure you go into like the retailer section and make sure you just put Walmart or any other recognizable stores you see on there um, but that's what kind of keeps me from like getting like random stuff that is going to be like kind of crappy quality and stuff like that. I just purchased everything from Walmart directly, but they have a ton more clothes and a ton more options and a ton more sizes online. So if you've never shopped online at Walmart before, I definitely recommend it. I buy so many things from Walmart um, and a ton of my kids' clothes, my clothes, my husband's clothes. You know, who knew? Who knew Walmart was so great? I mean, everyone knew, what am I saying? let's just stop gabbing let's jump right in I'm excited to share everything with you all right so the first thing I'm going to show you um, is this little top right here and this is from Derek Hart now Derek Hart is a juniors line and they also have a juniors plus line um, but it's this like ribbed um, striped shirt and it has like the is it called lettuce is that what it is? Lettuce edges? The little, you know, like the little frilly, like almost undone edges. Um, and this is in a 1X. Now, I don't know about you, but the reason that I got this is because it made me think of a movie that I was obsessed with in elementary school. It was called Wish Upon a Star. Please let me know if you remember that movie. Um, who was the main actress? It was Alexia Wheaton and she was played by Katherine Heigl before she was Grey's Anatomy famous and this was like kind of like one of the shirts she wore on one of like a casual days with like jeans and stuff. I wanted to be her but nice version her so basically her sister if you know what I'm, if you see the movie you know what I'm saying I wanted to be her so 
badly and I was obsessed with that movie. I watched it over and over and over and over and over again and one day in fourth grade when no one was wearing knee highs but she wore knee highs in the movie and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I wore knee highs and like the full outfit inspired by her and I got made fun of so badly. <laughs> So I have like kind of sad memories <laughs> from it, but I love that movie so much. I've always wanted to wear the clothes from it and this is a top like it. So long story short, that's pretty much why I bought this top. Um, I will say this definitely does fit Junior Plus. It runs not, I wouldn't say smaller, smaller. It still fits me just fine. This is in a 1X. If you've never seen my videos before, if you've forgotten, I am a pretty true 16. Um, and so this is in a 1X and I will say that it is, it's definitely stretchy. There's a lot of give to it, but um, it does definitely fall in the category of Junior's Pluses where it's not cut like a woman's or a Mrs. size, if that makes sense. Um, I think this will be really cute with just like pants and jeans. It'll be cute with like, if you have like cut off shorts for summertime until it gets cooler, I think this would be cute with like a black or a, um, a regular denim skirt, but a black denim skirt. I think this will be, I mean, there's so many options and I just think it's cute. I just thought it was cute. It made me think of the movie, so. Mm, excuse me. I just wanted to share the prices. So there are two different color choices in that shirt and they are both um, $9.98. Sorry, God damn. Okay, so the next item I think I'm actually going to take back. I thought it was going to be a bit different than it was and it didn't say it was going to be what I thought it was going to be so it's not the fault of the brand. I just don't love it on me. Um, however, I think this could work for a lot of different body types and I think it's really pretty. I just don't love it on me. Um, but it is this cowl neck style um, top. And I love the kind of like directional patterns it takes where it's kind of vertical, then it's horizontal, then it's vertical. I don't know, I just love kind of like the patchiness of that. Um, I think this color is beautiful. I'm so attracted to these jades and emeralds this season. Um, I think they're really popular this season. It is from the brand Time and True. I got it in a 2X and I definitely would say one, that it's big, um, but two, that I, I envisioned it to be more of like a swing top so it was like fitted up on like the chest area and then kind of swung out and kind of flowy and it's not made to do that so it never said anything like that it was never presented like that I just made the assumption that I wanted it to be like that um, and it's not so I just don't love it on me however I think this would work really well on a lot of different other body types this is technically in straight sizing um, but it, there is a lot of stretch and I feel like it can con accommodate straight sizing and plus sizes really well and I want to say that I feel like like this would be awesome for like a business option if you work in an office that you have to wear more like business casual options um, or whatever you know like this could be cute tucked in a skirt this could be cute a lot of different ways I just didn't love it on me so I do plan on taking it back um, and this but I believe was under ten dollars so this was only eight forty four um, and there's a ton of different color options um, so if this doesn't strike your fancy you could try it on different things I just don't like it on me but I don't think it's a bad item if that makes sense okay so the next thing I have to show you is a uh, cheetah um, cheetah and leopard print is super popular this year same thing goes for like snake skin and stuff like that so if you don't like this print this is not gonna be for you and I only have one other item in it I want all the items in it when I was growing up cheetah was my jam I had everything in cheetah print my bed sheets my backpacks my folders every single thing oh oh yep this is awkward because there's somebody coming up and I'm filming and it's my neighbor and we're gonna act totally normal and her husband's there too and the window's wide open so we're just gonna be cash anyway so I'm super happy that it's back in style and I got a dress and like a tunic top and I think they are both by Tara and Sky. yes okay so this first is this adorable long dress if you watched my get ready with me you would have already seen a glimpse into this dress I freaking love it I wore it out that day and got so many compliments it is so cute it makes me feel so confident and just like good and beautiful and awesome I freaking love it it is so comfortable it is perfect for this time of year because it's like a good transitional piece where it works well still when it's summertime and it's a bit hot but then I think it's gonna work great transitioning to fall you can put a cardigan or a little jacket over it with some booties I love it now this is in a 1x um, and I 
think it fits pretty true to size. I will say that it may fit even a little bit bigger. Um, it is not a true wrap dress. It is a faux wrap dress, but it does include the actual string to tie it. And I like really tied it super tight to kind of give me more of a bit of a, um, a waist. I do find that Tara and Sky runs a bit on the larger side. So if that is something that you're considering any of these items, I would just keep that in mind when ordering. I wouldn't size up. I would stick pretty true to size. Um, if not, if you're in between sizes, take the smaller size. Um, but it does have ruched sleeves. There's a nice bit of stretch in this. I love it. Now, when it <laughs> when it came, it was like sewn. There was like one little stitch um, in the actual like chest part area. Um, and it was super high and I just, I had to let the girls out, you know, like not to show off or anything. Like I just, I just didn't, I, it was just really, really high. And so I feel like sometimes since I am pretty well endowed up top, it, if things like that happen, it like kind of goes into uniboob and I wasn't feeling that. So I did just kind of like take the stitch out, but so just know when you get it that there is a stitch but it's easily removable or if you can keep it in totally up to you and your discretion and how you feel i just don't like the uniboob look on me because that's what it does so i took it out but i love this dress i recommend this dress i think it is so cute and versatile and there's a ton of ways you can wear this and i love it and like i said i got that in a 1x and it goes from 0x to 4x and it was 19.97 and like i say said i also feel like it's pretty generous in size I want to share with you this cute little skirt. It's like a little swing skirt, but the reason that I really like it is that it's nice and long. So if you're taller, um, or if you have really long legs, or you just don't like short items like I do, this is totally up your alley. I hate skirts that are so freaking short, and that's all you can buy now, are like little short itty bitty mini skirts, and I'm just not comfortable with that. I want something to know that it's not gonna like fly upwards and the whole world's gonna see my butt okay like that's not my vibe okay i'm not looking for that so when i saw this i really liked it and i was still kind of cautious but when i got it home it proved to be exactly what i thought which is nice and long um this is from the brand called poof and this i do believe is a junior size but it fits just fine this isn't a 1x there is a lot of stretch this is the gray and i believe they also have it in like a plum um, and it's like kind of ribbed. There's like a little bit of texture to it. This is perfect to be high-waisted. There's tons obviously of things you can do with this. I think these types of skirts are perfect for like the fall and winter time because they're so versatile with tights and booties or without tights. I love them. This was inexpensive. I really liked it. I wish, I wish, I wish they had this in black because I totally would have gotten another one in black, but I still really like this and I think it's really pretty. I love the like way it flows it's just really cute and this was in or this was like i said a 1x and they have it up to a 3x and it was 12.98 and they also have it in like a pretty light burgundy all right so for my next leopard item um is another thing from tara and sky and i actually saw jessica donahue um show this in one of her videos her hauls and i'd seen this online and i hated the picture i feel like it was just so unflattering um and i was like okay i'm not gonna get that i feel like it would make me look like i'm like in my 70s um and just not very like young or just i don't know i don't know i just didn't think it was super flattering but then she wore it and i was like that is so cute and so i got it <laughs> She made me buy it. Anyway, it is this adorable, once again, let me just tell you, off the body, it does nothing. Um, but it is this just like long kind of tunic style top. Now, first off, it is asymmetrical, so it kind of goes down into an angle. And on the back, there is kind of like that lace up design. Um, but it is super stretchy and just really cute. This is adorable with leggings and this will be really cute with leggings and boots, leggings and booties, leggings and like little loafers. I think this is super cute. No leggings and just jeans, whatever you want to wear it with. Um, but really comfortable. I think this is like total mom outfit to me, like totally up my alley when it comes to just finding something comfortable and easy to wear. Um, this was once again, plus size and this was a 1x and it's like a 16 women's and 18 women's um once again Terrence guy i think runs pretty generously so i definitely would recommend 
true to size or potentially sizing down. Um, if you're concerned about that sort of thing, I would not size up um, and I really like it. So I'm so excited to wear this. I've been waiting, been waiting till it's not like 95 degrees. And so I don't look like a crazy person, but I love it. All right, my camera died. I had to rearrange you. Um, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, it is a dress. I got it from Zaffle um, last fall and I still love it. It's so cute. I love the sleeves. I love the color. It's like one of my very favorite things. It is so comfortable and I get so many compliments on it. It's I'm obsessed. Um, and also this heart choker, which I also really love. I just got it, um, is from Altered State and I'm also obsessed with it. So anyway, let's just, let's just keep going. So this next item is from No Boundaries and No Boundaries, um, is a juniors line straight sizing and I do believe that they go to plus sizes um, this is a straight sized item and that could be why um, but it is a jumpsuit and with jumpsuits I always size up at least one size because I know they typically run smaller and because I just like the extra room so I sized up two sizes in this one um, and it fits and you'll see it fits fine I just know after one wash it's gonna shrink and it's not gonna look good and I already feel like the material is very telling um, and so I don't know I just I want it I want it so badly but I just don't feel like I'm gonna actually wear it because I don't think I'm gonna enjoy how it looks on me so I just can't decide I'm I'm on the edge so tell me what you guys think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take it back um, but it's this really really cute um, jumpsuit now they it comes in a bunch of colors I got like the rust option and it's kind of that crepey um, it's kind of rough but it's not on the body pretty rough material you know what I'm talking about I loved the cuffed um, arms and the buttons um, it goes all the way to the ground it's not like capri links which I love the longer ones and it has a belted sash now I sized up two sizes, so this is in a 3X, which is technically a junior's 21, and it's just, it's first off, it's incredibly hard to get on and off. Like, there is not a whole lot of extra space in the upper body area, so if you carry a lot of weight in your arms and your shoulders and you're really broad, this is not going to be your friend. Um, but, so it was hard to get on and hard to get off. <laughs> But it's just so cute. But I feel like it's going to be really hard to go to the bathroom if I have to go to the bathroom immediately. <laughs> Which, you know, who knows, okay? I got some tummy problems. I could have to go. So I just, I don't want to risk that specific instance. But I also just, I don't know. I don't feel like I'll ever reach for it because I'll be scared to wear it. Which is kind of disappointing. But um, if you are smaller than me, um, I would definitely recommend trying this on because I do think it's absolutely adorable and really cute and there's a bunch of different colors and I love it. I just, I don't think it's for me. It was $16.96, which is a great price for it and I think the quality is great. I think it's really cute. I just wish that it was actually the size that I feel like it would be because this definitely to me runs way small. Um, but I love it and I don't want to take it back, but I need to. So the next item is actually from Maurice's. Now, Walmart is kind of like Amazon in a way where they sell, they do kind of like the wholesale website sort of thing. They're a marketplace and they do offer a lot of different brands. Maurice's now sells through Walmart. And if you guys remember a long time ago, I went in to do a try on haul from Maurice's and I just was really underwhelmed, but I thought I'd give it an extra try because their prices are cheaper. Um, on Walmart online and I just thought a lot of them were cute. I bought one item and I don't like it. So I don't think I will continue with Maurice's ever again. I was so excited for this and it just it just misses the mark to me. Um, it's this really really cute like rust color once again rust colored like a deeper cognac kind of though um, like sweater top if you will. So I feel like it's really nice for fall, but it's perfect for the time of year too, because it's like, hey, we're moving into fall, but it's also still bazillion degrees. Um, and it has like the adjustable tie straps. Um, but first off, I got this in an extra or 2X. So this wasn't technically like an extra extra large. So this was technically not in the plus section. They do have plus and they do have straight sizes. Um, 
So that could probably be why it's just not made to fit a plus size body, which is kind of frustrating when they offer kind of technically a plus size size, but it's just definitely meant to look better on a straight size body. Um, so it, it's just really wide and really short. So it just does nothing, just makes me look like a like a square. It just does nothing for my figure and I'm really sad because it's really cute, but I think I'm actually gonna take it back too. Um, this retails for $34, but I believe I got it on like a really good deal. Um, I do believe though that I will have to send this back to Maurice's directly, which is fine, that's no big deal. Um, but you know, if you're looking to just be able to exchange at Walmart, I don't think I can return it there. Um, Right now it's back to $34, but I believe I got it on sale for like 11, some really, really great option. So yeah, I definitely would not spend $34 on this, but I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Next, we got a pair of shoes. I don't show shoes on my channel very often because I am the worst about buying myself shoes. I will buy myself 50 dresses before I buy myself a pair of shoes. I love clothes, I love buying clothes, and I need shoes. Like I have very little shoes, I need them. Sorry, I was watching my neighbor. <laughs> um, I have very little shoes, I need more shoes. My shoes are falling apart. I will wear them till they literally, I can't anymore. Like there's holes, my toes sticking out, like, but I just don't buy them enough. And so I told myself this year, I need new shoes. I need winter appropriate items. I need new boots. I need all those things. So we started with these suckers. So I have loved like clog mule type of trend. Um, and I saw these online and I thought they were really cute. They have like memory foam padding. They're incredibly comfortable. I was really surprised how comfortable these were for the price that I paid. However, I feel like they're really pointy like in intensely pointy. Um, my husband doesn't think though so, but me, I don't know. They just give me like a weird, like a witchy pilgrim vibe. I don't know how I feel about them. So I will try them on, let me know below. I just feel like they're, they're such an intense point, but maybe it's just me and my ridiculousness. Um, but they were $17.98, they, they also have a snakeskin pair, and I think they're really cute. I just have to get intent and uh, used to the intense point. But like I said, I think they're incredibly comfortable and they fit my little wide chubby foot. So if you have wider feet, I feel like they aren't super narrow and they're really like, they're just comfy and cozy on the inside, even on my hand right now. Like I'm, I'm impressed with their comfort. And I feel like it gives you that like nice lift, that little heel without having to wear like an intense heel. I just think they're cool. I just, I just, I'm not sold yet. But like I said, I got them for $17.98. This is in a size nine. Um, and I like them. I just, I just can't, I can't tell how I like them on me. If that makes sense. Okay, so this last item is from QVC. And if you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys know I love QVC. It is my favorite thing to watch. And if you haven't watched me for a long time, it's literally because nothing bad happens on QVC. The worst thing that happens is something sells out or something. But it's just, and I know it seems so silly because it's literally just watching sales people trying to sell you stuff. But it's so relaxing to me and everybody's so happy and there's like fun, especially during the holiday time, there's like fun things to look at and it's just, I don't know, I discovered it when I was like really, really sick after I had my, uh, my first, my first daughter. I was really sick and on bed rest and it was a rough time and I discovered it and just was like, I'm never going back and that was like almost five years ago. So no. Yeah, almost five years ago, so I've been an avid watcher since. Anyway, um, I was watching, as I do, and I saw this and I ordered it. And it is this fall perfection. It is a plaid kind of flannel style, I think they called it like a duster or a coverlet, but it's a shirt slash duster slash a bunch of things. It is from the Lisa Rinna collection. Now this by no means was like cheap. This was I think on a one day only for like $40 or $50. It definitely, it definitely was not a cheap thing. Um, but 
sometimes you just you see something and you just know now this did have a couple other colors i will try to make sure if they still have it i will link it below um when it comes to qvc sizing i feel like everything always runs big even when they say it doesn't run big it runs big so i ordered an extra large and it's big but I'm hoping that I can make it work and that I can, I should probably just exchange it for a different size, but you know, um, I'm pretty sure that I could get it to shrink and titch. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna try <laughs> and I'll let you know, but I'm pretty obsessed. I think it's just, it's like something you could just throw on over like a black tank and some leggings and you look cool and you look fashionable and you look folly and you're comfortable and you're warm and you're cozy and I love it. This is definitely not everybody's cup of tea. It's pretty long. It's not, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I just, I like it and it gives me like Eric Matthews vibes, like hardcore and you know, I'm down for that. I have nothing else to say besides that I'm obsessed. So although it may not be the most flattering thing, it's kind of boxy, it doesn't show my figure, I think it's like the coolest thing. So I'm real happy with it. <laughs> Guys, I forgot one item. I had to go get it. And this is a big item because I literally placed the order for this item. <laughs> um, I have been wanting a moto jacket, a faux leather moto jacket for years. And everything that I find is either like very boyfriend style and just like really oversized and not like cool figure flattering or it's really small and like cropped or just they don't have plus size it just never works out well this year when I was watching Shrill if you've never watched Shrill highly recommend it's on Hulu it's definitely um more on the mature side there's a lot of words and adult themes but it's a great show for body positivity Anyway, there's a, uh, a outfit that Annie wears, I think her name's Annie, Annie wears in it, and it's, I can't find a picture, otherwise I'd insert it. I looked for like days to find this picture, and they don't have that picture of that outfit online, which is kind of frustrating, but it's this like plaid dress with a leather jacket, the moto jacket, and she wears like black tights and little booties, and it is the cutest freaking, it is like me in an outfit. Like if you could put an outfit together, it would be that one, at least during the winter time. And I loved it. And I was, I swore to myself, you will get a leather, faux leather moto jacket this season. And then I found one at Walmart. So I ordered it. Now this is also from the brand No Boundaries. Ironically, I bought the same size I did in the jumpsuit because like I said, typically moto jackets in the women's section are always really small. This is way too big. So I think I'm gonna have to exchange it. Um, but other than that, I freaking love it. I am so excited to wear this, which sounds so silly, but I don't know what it is about leather jackets they're always my thing. Like I wore them all the time in high school and in college and I just, I just love them. They make me feel alive and young and like the cold air is like going through my lungs and it's just like a night full of possibilities, friends. That's what they symbolize to me. So I'm really excited. This one isn't particularly like dainty. Like I don't feel like it's like an oversized boyfriend style, but it's not like super cut and cropped to where it would fit like perfectly to your figure, but I like it. I think it's really good, especially for the price. It's obviously faux leather, but it's not that type of leather that feels like it's gonna like chip away. You know what I'm talking about? That type of soft leather that's so bad that it just starts like peeling off and you have just like freckles, speckles everywhere. I don't feel like it's this, that type of leather. Um, there's nice amount of zippers and I don't know what else to say besides that I love it and once I size down, it'll be a great day. So this was probably the most expensive item that I purchased, rightfully so, considering that it is a jacket. Um, and let me tell you how much it was. All right, so this is $24.96. Awesome price, awesome price, totally recommend it. And if you are someone who has a hard time with finding jackets that fit, um, I feel like this one is an awesome option. I love it. I just 
I feel like I'm playing dress up because I'm not the bad A chick that needs to wear this jacket, but I cannot wear it. Like I'm just gonna put eyeliner on and I really wanna go to a concert and a show and just feel alive, you know? All right, friends, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to subscribe because there is a lot more plus size fall fashion coming your way really soon. I am so excited, guys. It, do it only goes up from here, in my opinion. So please hit that subscribe button so you can keep in touch. And um, as always, I will try to make sure that I link all of the items that I've shown below. Some things may be out of stock. Um, and in that case, I will either let you know or they will not be linked. But other than that, I should, they'll probably be linked. And uh, that's about it. So uh, please let me know below again if you have any special places you would like me to go and um, try do a try on all for. I have had a couple of requests to do another uh, from 21 and a Torrid and a couple of other options. So I definitely will be getting on that really soon um, to kind of see what they have for fall. I know Torrid's fall stuff just came out pretty recently. So I really want to venture over there. And uh, I guess that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.